The lights are glowing at Country Heritage Park for their annual Country Bright. As a brand new annual event at Country Heritage Park, I had to come check it out for myself and of course bring a very important critic, Luna. Thousands of lights and giant holiday displays brighten her path as she walks through the Country Bright experience. James Fraser is one of the show architects. He says this is something people don't get to experience often. You know, most of the people that come here come here from Toronto, Milton, Mississauga, and this is really a diamond in the rough. It's an 80 acre park, uh, you know, half an hour away from, uh, from you know, the, the, the urban uh, centers. So it really is an incredible place to be. I think the thing that makes it unique is that we've used a lot of the, the elements that are inherent in Country Heritage Park. Country Heritage Park has buildings ranging from 1820 right through 1945, and we've brought those to life. Uh, we've brought to life the church, we've brought to life the old schoolhouse, uh, old barns, the old black, blacksmith shop, um, and we've done it in a way that I don't think has been done in the past. Um, you will not see uh, this many lights, uh, I don't think anywhere. We sort of lost count at around 400,000 lights, and, uh, and it's, it's brought to life in a way that, frankly, I never thought was possible. Light shows like this aren't new to Fraser, as he is also the man behind Pumpkins After Dark in the fall. And although we are still dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, it was important for Fraser to make Country Bright more immersive. He says people need to get out again. For Pumpkins After Dark this year, we had to do a drive through because we weren't sure where the cases were going to be and that kind of thing. And very quickly, we decided that when we were doing a winter event, we're going to let people walk. They've been asking for it. Uh, they've been wanting to get out. So let's create a really safe environment. We're keeping our numbers per hour down so that people have lots of space. And as you've seen, as you've walked through here, it's a lot of wide open space to walk. So people are not going to be crowded when they're here. Country Bright will be open Thursday to Sunday until December 16th, after which it will be open every day until January 2nd. Now, if you thought that this was just a light show, think again. Fraser says there is also a charity component. This year, it's the uh, for this event, it's the Milton Hospital that we are uh, contributing to. So people have the opportunity to contribute themselves uh, when they purchase tickets. And at the end of the show, we give a portion of, uh, of profits to, uh, to the Milton Hospital. So as my family and I came close to the end of our walk, I had to ask Luna for her review. Do you want to go home now? No. Well, there you have it. A five-star rating. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.